Be Benji, yeah. but feeling skinny. I'm surprised you couldn't hear my fucking bones rattling there like a wee skeleton. I'm that skinny, yeah. But 76 kilo and averaging, averaging 76 kilo this week anyway. So came we are digging. Two weeks to go, so not long at all. But again, tunnel vision, keeping the heat down, doing everything the coach has asked. So that's all we can do. A wee update on how things have changed going into the next two weeks. We have well, coach has asked me to take out anything that's like artificial, eh? So. Sticking the things that are mere natural products. Taking out things like milk, cheese. One thing that I've noticed that's a lot more difficult is taking out these. So, so I used to obviously have them. I used to obviously have these in my coffee, which made the taste absolutely fantastic. But I tried a black coffee the other day with nothing in it. It tastes like shit. Eh? So I'm not having them again. The next thing that's been cut has been fizzy drinks. So I think that's just to keep internal stress to a minimum for the next two weeks. I can't, it's only two weeks, but it does make it a wee bit harder. So we've cut out Monster, Pepsi Max, things that we love, sauces as well. So having a lot more plain meals, but that's what it is. Another thing that I bought the other day, I was going to say we've been summer outside, but it's, well, it's raining now, but it's meant to be summer and sunny outside, so it's been like, it gets light in the morning at four o'clock or something, eh? half four. So if you got up to the toilet, I can't get back to sleep, eh? So I've invested in a sleeping mask, man. This is a good one, eh? 15 quid. But aye, there is cheaper ones, by the way, before anybody says there's no need in buying that, but I thought it's about to be better some way. So if you can see it here, it's got like wee pockets for your eyes, no your eyes to sit in, but like if you blink or whatever, your eyelashes only got to get pushed against the eye masking, yeah? So nice and comfy, helps a lot. And I that's the changes we've made so far. Um just gonna have my first meal now, so as I just says, protein and oats. And then I'll catch up with you before we go train pool later on. Season but lunch time! Always get happy when it's time for food. Uh, look at this bowl. So my scales broke the other day. These ones broke, but luckily, because I'm always prepared, we got these ones. I had them spare, eh? so I think my grand gave me them actually. So they came with that bowl, or the bowl came with them. It's quite, I'll be getting an off season right now, it's not very full of new, but when it's time to grow again, this will be good. Chicken, rice, and I've added mushrooms in it every, I was going to say every single meal, but I, didn't have, I never had it with my porridge, obviously, but with my chicken and rice meal and my mincing rice meal, I've put in like a full packet of mushrooms. Reason being, high volume, less calories, makes you feel fuller, loose your meal's bigger. Perfect. Next thing is, pre-workout of choice before here. The Gummy Gains one, the one you've seen before for Alpha Life. I just tried, remember I, I said in the last video that I had ordered a new pump formula. So this is a Komodo, Komodo? A Komodo pump from Alpha Line as well, if it focuses. Juicy fruit gum and then peach pump tastes insane. And I'm not even joking you, the pump is like ridiculous. So when I used to have Nova, the Nova pump stuff, like you felt no too bad, but I had that the other day when I was training push. And my fucking arms and everything was just like, it's like somebody shoved the fucking pump up my ass and blew me up, man. I was just, felt felt big, yeah. Probably looked shite, but I felt big, which is good. So having it a day again before a pool workout to see what damage it does. 275 milligrams of caffeine, which isn't too much, but it's good. So mixing the two is absolutely perfect. You'll have lunch now, chicken rice mushrooms, finish off the rest of my water, then I shall see you in the gym for a pool session. Also Clothing is coming. I've got a few designs, a few folk messaged me on Instagram and asked, will I be selling them? Aye, but what I'll be doing is like a monthly order thing, so if you want a jumper or a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or whatever, just let me ken. But I've not got all the, the <sighs> oh, it doesn't get any easier. I've not got all the designs ready yet, but when I do, I'll get some pictures up and I'll show you some and then if you want them, perfect, all right? But anyway, go to my lunch and I'll see you at the gym.
Sing to your heart to find you Open up your eyes till you're blinded by the lies So you can see what you do Restless every time we start locking eyes God, it's ringing God, it's fucking wet So, make sure you check the weather before you walk to the gym next time Because it's fucking yeah. soaking, mate, see you later on Oh my god Best day cardio done. <coughs> cardio seems to be getting harder. Can you wake up? This is obviously the last two weeks and I'm waking up a lot hungrier than what I was. Shut up. Like this is the last two weeks and I'm waking up a lot hungrier than what I usually do just because I've been in a deficit for so long. But got to head through to Glasgow now just to, to do a bit of shopping and then So gonna head through to Glasgow to do a bit of shopping whilst we can still Get some steps in, so we're gonna head through there now. See where the day takes us. I just at the service station here getting petrol. I went to the toilet and then this guy came out of the cubicle and never washed his hands but dried his hands, eh? Mm, strange one, right? Just gonna head through there now, it's a nice day. Sun is out, so first thing is I need to go get jeans because my wee brother took my jeans and never brought them back, so I'm they don't, really be, they don't really want to be walking about in shorts, but hey, see what's through here and then I'll catch up with you soon. See you a bit. What about they? Please insert ticket. Oh, press for new ticket. Technology, eh? The only good thing about a car park, this noise. Listen to it outside. <laughs> Immature. Immature, Ben. Got my lunch bag. So right, park next to a nice car. See if you've got a nice car. Park next to a nice car, then you should respect your car and know how to. Right, now where do we go? To the shops. Let's go. If only, yeah, two weeks. Okay, that's all you fucking see. All you see in Glasgow is Krispy Kreme donuts, man. It's like five stalls, but plan of action is go get, well, Paige's gonna go for lunch. I've got my lunch in my bag. So, see where she decides to go. Hopefully it's no TGI Fridays or something. Aye. Hey, you know, all right, anyways, but that's fine. Just got pulled up there for. Uh, recording in a centre, like recording in a shopping centre. Must be for security, yeah, but it's turned out a nice day. So we're going to head for some. Where do you want to go for lunch? Well, for your lunch. Wagamamas. Wagamamas. It's not too bad, eh? at least this is why I got TGI Fridays and fucking torture well, me, but. Would have. Would have. Two weeks' time we got TGI Fridays, so. Going to go there now and then go shopping. Just me then. Good eye. <laughs> Went to Wagamama's there so Paige could have her meal and I made my lunch so I could eat it where and they wouldn't let me eat my f they wouldn't let me eat Oh my god I keep up fucking sack YouTube sack prep man <laughs> I was wanting to eat my lunch in there but they wouldn't let me eh? so I had to sit and watch Paige eat her meal when I was starving, eh? Wagamama's is one of my favourite restaurants. So now we're sitting on a bench in Glasgow, eating chicken, rice and veg. <laughs> These must, see you used to say, there's a folk who say, oh your relationships will finish and that when you're on prep, but you can still do things with your bird or your boyfriend, just sacrifice some things. You know what I mean? Like, 
It's like, aye, we can't go for a meal, but well, we can go for a meal, but I can't have the meal. That's simple. I just take your meal with you and then sit on a bench and eat it. <laughs> simple. I'm gonna enjoy this and then go a bit of clothes shopping. I think spend some cash money. Another black. Cause there is a black T-shirt out there. What's happening team? Just out getting some some of the rest of my steps in that I never got in Glasgow. Even though I was walking about all day, I still never got all my steps in. One thing I was gonna talk about was like relationships during prep, eh? Because loads of folk have asked like is it affecting my relationship and that and some people will be like, oh that's not fair on the other person, eh? Like for me they say, oh it's no fair on your girlfriend, can you didn't take her for meals or you didn't go out for dinner or lunch that together and I'm like, well Bodybuilding is quite selfish when you're in prep, eh? Like, for me, it's like, me and Paige spoke about it at the start, so it was like, right, for this next 20 weeks of prep, like, it's just tunnel vision for me, eh? Like, have a plan in place, and then, then I come out with the plan. But, that doesn't mean you can't do stuff, eh? So I think that's how loads of couples, they fuck up during prep, eh? Because, they're so, like, I need to be selfish, but you can still day hang. So, like, the day, for instance, when we were in Glasgow, we still went for a meal, eh? So, we still went out for dinner, well, lunch even. And even though Wagamamas were dicks and didn't let me have my lunch, we still sat and had food together, eh? Well, I watched Paige have her food and then I sat and ate mine in a park bench. Just sit down before you start prepping, explain to your girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever, and just say, listen, this means a lot to me, and they should obviously already realise that. Just be like, the next 20 weeks or 30 weeks, however long your prep is, just be like, just bear with me. I want to dedicate as much time, as much effort as possible to it. And they should understand it. Eh? Another thing is, like, I've only got two weeks left to prep, and I have not done much together over the past 20 weeks, but then after the 20 weeks, when we go for dinner or drinks or whatever we do, like, it'll be like, you'll appreciate it, Mary, eh? Ken, because you'll. You've not done it for a while, so you'll, you'll appreciate going out for dinner and that together. Okay, at the end of the day, it's like, bodybuilding's fucking so important to me, yeah? Like, a couple of years ago, I wouldn't have thought that. Like, I love training, but, like, nowadays, it's like, that's all what I do is, like, I want to be successful in this industry, yeah? Which, I'm sure, if I keep grinding, I will be. Like, even things like, going for a walk. Ken, if you're going to walk at night, just say to your missus, do you want to go a walk? We can just talk about some stuff when we're going to walk, eh? Ken, it's only going to be like maybe half an hour, but you can still chat to each other on that. How they stop the video there, I could see, like, even though I look quite confident on camera, like, when I see folk walking towards me, I'm like, fuck, panic, eh? So I had to put a camera down. Like, things like spending time together, so we went to Glasgow today. Ken, nothing happened, nothing changed in my prep, so it was my rest day, so I'd done cardio in the morning. I had my first my first meal, I took my second meal so I was prepared, drank my water and done my steps and went a bit of shopping so for your partner that's good for them because they're like oh we had a good day out and obviously I enjoyed the day too but it's like nothing happened, nothing was different to me yeah? so sometimes you'll be tired and maybe a wee bit crab it and whatnot but kind of apart from the wee things just suck it up kind that of, you chose to do this so and if your partner's moan about it like just try and get the message across to them that it's only for a short period of time. Eh? If this means a lot to you, then they should understand and they should support it. Eh? Like, Ken, if your partner, like, if your partner supports you, that's going to help. That's going to help you massively in your prep. Eh? Ken, if I had Paige moan at me all the time and saying, "Oh, you're this and you're that," can it put you down? But she doesn't. Eh? So it help, makes it a hell of a lot easier for me. Eh? I'm probably rambling on a bit there, but I just tried to get. My view on relationships during prep. Eh? I'm gonna end the video with that. Nearly done. I've done my steps now, so gonna go home and have my last meal and then some snacker jacks. Again, if you could subscribe to the channel, we're nearly at 500 subscribers, which is pretty cool. I guess it's only 500 people. Like it's not that big, but to me, it's mental thinking people sit for 10, 15 minutes and watch my videos and me just talking utter shit and some of my training and advice. Eh? But it's pretty cool. So. Still trying to grow that so if you can if you've not subscribed already can you make sure you subscribe to try and hit that 500 mark post me your story on instagram because that helps so so much and then like the video also comment down below if there's anything you want to see in future videos i can they know it's kind of hard because uh, i'm on prep and i can't go out for food challenges and all that shit. but one day anyway i appreciate the support i'll see you in the next one no!